Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to do the Python implementation of PCA. PCA stands for Principal Component Analysis. In our last video, we studied about how this concept actually works on whiteboard. So in today's video, we are going to do its Python implementation. Uh, so let's get started. So for today's exercise, we are going to use this data set. This data set is of, uh, of um, three different wines. So basically, uh, you can think of that this uh, each row in this data contains uh, values of 13 different type of attribute for a particular wine. And uh, the last column, which is customer segment, tells about like which type of wine is this. So for example, for this row, this is type one wine. And uh, the similar way like this for, for this row this is type 2 wine so basically you can think of that uh, uh, alcohol malic acid ash uh, s-alkanity magnesium total phenols so all these are different type of properties and uh, or you can say attributes and values are given for these uh, different type of properties or attributes and based on these values uh, we need to uh, uh, predict what kind of wine it is so for this purpose what we will do we will make a model and which will understand uh, during the training process this data and after training we can give some uh, unseen record to our model and then we can uh, check how our model is predicting like our model can predict that uh, that particular wine is of type 1, type 2 or type 3. So this is all about the data set. Now let's get started with the uh, Python implementation of it. So first thing first, I'm going to import the required libraries uh, and basic libraries are like pandas and uh, numpy import numpy as np and the next one is we are going to use matplotlib import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so these are the basic library that we are going to use and then using pd, uh, PD uh, pandas object we can read the csv which i just shown to you you can give the wine.csv is the name of that csv file and it will give us a data frame object and uh, now uh, that is in our data set variable and if I, you do a data set dot head it will give you the first five rows so this is the this is our data so there are different properties and we need to uh, find the what type of wine it is next thing what we are going to do we are going to uh, divide this data into x and y x is generally considered as our feature matrix y is generally uh, considered as the, our target variable so for that purpose i am going to use my uh, this ilog function so how i'm going to do is that using uh, data set dot ilog ilog means i location and the values before the comma this comma inside this bracket belongs to rows and value after the comma belongs to column so uh, you can think of that for this particular case we need all these values as our x matrix these are features uh, so from zeroth all the rows so that's why I am. I have not given anything for rows. If you keep it blank, uh, that means pick all the rows. And here we have given zero colon thirteen. That means take commas from zeroth index to thirteenth index. So zero, one, two, three, four, and this goes till this one. So all those values are uh, now. Um, brought into x so this is my feature matrix and we need only the last column which is customer segment its values so for that we what we have done data set dot take all the rows 
only 13th column and put all uh, take all its values into y variable so these are my x and y now after my x and y has been uh, kind of uh, split it out now next thing what we can do is we can uh, divide this data into our uh, training and it, uh, testing size so for that we have simply this train test split inside our sql learn so these things i am doing on a quick basis uh, because uh, uh, these already have been covered in our all our all of our videos so it's a very basic thing uh, so uh, inside train test split we pass x our feature matrix y our, our target variable test size tells us that what kind how much percentage we want for testing purpose random state you can give any number here and it will subsequently divide into x train x test y train and y test after doing this what we can do is we can as a part of a good engineering machine learning uh, practice uh, which we can do is we can bring uh, so if you take a look at this data there are different column which have values on different ranges so like for example this pro line column contains values in thousands or hundreds and uh, there are column uh, like non flavonoid phenols it contains values only in decimal 0. Point less than 1 so basically uh, in scaling what we do we bring all the features on the same scale so for the same what we we have different scalar we in this case we are using standard scalar again this standard scalar is also in the sklearn library so from sklearn.preprocessing import standard scalar create an object of it and then fit transform our data set explain and x test so if you to understand this as well uh, we can do what we can do is uh, if you take a look at here uh, x train so after you can think of that this this you can see this this is how my x is and after uh, scaling this will get converted and you, now you if you again take a look at x train and then you can think then you can see that values are changed so for the first thing uh, for the first row and first column this was the value and now it has been transformed into 0 0.00876 the same way this is something uh, different 0 0.79 and here we have 3.26 e to the power some values so basically uh, what we are doing we are kind of bringing all the values which are on different scale we do some mathematical calculation and bring down them into same scale so that uh, uh, all of the values have uh, equivalent all uh, equivalent significance or the right significance in while doing the model training so after doing this uh, what we can do is now this is the important thing that we are going to do in this video is now we want so uh, in this video we are uh, learning about pca uh, what we do in pca we in pca we basically bring down our dimensionality uh, when we say we bring down our dimensionality it means that uh, so for example in this case we have 13 or 14 attributes to identify what kind of wine it is but using pca what we can do and uh, we can bring down the number of features uh, to a very low number and then we can do the uh, the same thing with the um, then we can uh, achieve the same thing uh, in terms of accuracy so basically uh, in this example we have 14 but in a real world problem we have hundred thousands of different type of uh, features or attributes or properties for any particular data uh, so in those cases we need to bring down those uh, number of attributes to a very lower number to avoid the computation or to manage the computational cost so here what we are going to do we are uh, here you can see that we have our x has around 13 features 13 features so what we are going to do we are going to bring down those 13 features into two features and we can achieve the same thing so so for that uh, what i am doing from sklearn.decomposition 
I am importing PCA, and N components uh, means that I want to bring down only. Uh, I want finally as two attributes instead of thirteen attributes currently we have in our X train or X any um, X matrix. So. uh in while creating an object we just pass like how many principal components we need at an end uh, so it will uh, here we are passing two so it will give us only two feature and then what i am doing uh, using that pca i am fit transforming my x train and my x test so now you can think of you can think you can see uh my x train is uh, transformed we can create any model so for this case i am creating a logistic regression so after logistic so for this i am creating a logistic regression and random state you can pass any number for this classifier i am training it x train and y train so my this x train this x train is my this value so my this x train is my this one the only with two attributes after that what i can do is uh, i can do the prediction part so for that uh, what i am going to do is classifier dot predict and i am passing the x test x test is the subset which is never seen by our model and uh, this is generally kept for the testing purpose and uh, to take a look at the accuracy we can what we can do is we can pass the y predicted and y uh, actual y value into our this accuracy score so for that we have uh, one class accuracy score create an object of it we pass y test the actual value of y and y predict means the predicted value of y and when we can take a look at the accuracy level so you can see that accuracy level is 97% so this is doing good and we can take a look at the confusion matrix at, uh, at the end as well so that also lies into our sklearn matrices library sklearn dot matrices import confusion matrix and inside confusion matrix we pass y test and y pred the actual value and the predicted value and it will give us a uh, matrix And, ma and we can plot this to plot this we can use this matplotlib and seaborn library so for that uh, i'm using uh, uh, i'm plotting uh, using pyplot to matplot.pyplot and uh, i'm passing the value of figure size how big figure i want sns.heatmap what i want to pro, uh, kind of uh, draw on our heat map so i pass this cm confusion matrix x label on my x label my is predicted and on y on my y label is truth and you can think of you can you can see that so now it is clearly visible so now we, all the values on the diagonal are correctly predicted and these are true positive we can Uh, we can term these as true positive that means the actual value was uh, the truth and predicted values are matching so you can so all those are only the wrong prediction here is for this case in in this case uh, our truth was 1 but our model predicted as it as 0 rest all of the in all of the cases uh, our model predicted very well so uh, these things are not relevant to the uh, not relevant in context to pca but the con with respect to pca only this part is important this in this part what we have done we kind of brought down our number of attributes from 13 to 2 and um, we and then we kind of uh, uh, given those two attribute transformed attribute to our model and then we were able to achieve the uh, same accuracy or a very good accuracy you can say so that's all about for today's video thanks for watching and